You won't believe how Japan left its mark on the sandy landscapes of Afghanistan. Not with military might, but with water canals that brought life to the parched earth. Today, we're delving into the incredible tale of Tetsu Nakamura, a Japanese doctor who didn't just heal his people, but reshaped entire communities. Forget what you know about Grand Projects. This is a story about canals, commitment, and changing the game. Join us as we unravel the mystery behind Nakamura's canal engineering, a story more captivating than any blockbuster. This is the untold journey of a man who turned water into a force for change. Welcome to the Spartan world of canals and the indomitable spirit of Tetsu Nakamura. Tetsu Nakamura, a compassionate and devoted physician, entered the world on September 15, 1946 in Fukuoka, Japan. After completing his medical education at Kyushu University School of Medicine in 1973, Nakamura embarked on a transformative journey that would see him emerge as a beacon of hope in the midst of Afghanistan's tumultuous times. The genesis of his mission traces back to 1984 during the Soviet Army's occupation. Initially serving as a volunteer in a clinic in the Peshawar, Pakistan, Nakamura's dedication led him deeper into the heart of Afghanistan. In 1991, he established three clinics in the war-stricken Nangar province, laying the foundation for his tireless efforts to heal and uplift the afflicted people of the region. Nakamura's steadfast dedication to the people of Afghanistan emerged as a cornerstone in their battle for survival. His humanitarian efforts underwent a profound transformation when he identified the pervasive issue of malnutrition among patients seeking solace in his clinics. Acknowledging the intrinsic connection between water scarcity and overall well-being, Nakamura elevated his mission beyond conventional medical aid. Embracing the mantra, water, not weapons, he strategically directed his endeavors towards ambitious agricultural and irrigation projects in the challenging landscapes of eastern Afghanistan. In this strategic pivot, Nakamura transcended the role of an individual healer, evolving into a catalyzing force for the revitalization of entire villages. His commitment reverberated through the austere terrain, championing the transformative prowess of water as a dynamic force propelling sustainable change. Nakamura's humanitarian mission found its essence in his visionary approach to tackling the root causes of suffering in Afghanistan. As the dawn of the new millennium unfolded, a severe drought tightened its grip on the nation in 2000, intensifying diseases linked to malnutrition and water scarcity. Nakamura, displaying astute foresight, emphasized, one water channel for these people is more beneficial than the efforts of a hundred doctors. Recognizing the paramount importance of sustainable solutions, he strategically redirected his focus to agriculture and irrigation. In 2003, Nakamura embarked on a monumental undertaking in Ka district of Nangahar province, where he conceived and constructed the remarkable Pearl Canal. Stretching over an impressive 25 kilometers, this ingenious water supply channel harnessed the Kanara River's flow, breathing vitality into the fields and homes of the people in Ka district. Nakamura drew inspiration from the time-honored methods employed in building water supply canals in his hometown of Fukuoka, Japan, over two centuries ago. This transformative endeavor marked the initiation of a series of impactful canal projects, reshaping the agricultural landscape, irrigating expansive tracts of land, and significantly enhancing the lives of 600,000 people. Nakamura's commitment to mitigating the adverse effects of the drought extended well beyond the completion of the Pearl Canal. Acknowledging that the fundamental issues facing Afghanistan couldn't be resolved with guns and tanks, Nakamura ardently advocated for the revival of the fields as a cornerstone for improving the nation's overall situation. His unwavering dedication manifested in the construction of over eight water supply canals in the fertile Gambir Plain situated near Jalalabad. Spanning an impressive 16,000 hectares of agricultural land, these canals emerged as essential lifelines for numerous communities. Complementing these efforts, Nakamura strategically installed 11 weirs along the Kanar River, demonstrating a pragmatic approach to managing water resources for the benefit of the local population. His hands-on involvement in these projects became synonymous with the revitalization of Afghanistan's agricultural landscape, offering a tangible testament to the transformative impact of water-driven initiatives. Nakamura's indelible legacy of canal construction reached the heart of Nangar province, as he collaborated seamlessly with local communities to execute transformative projects harnessing water for agricultural prosperity. Through unwavering determination, he not only facilitated the development of over 1,500 deep wells, 
but also orchestrated the meticulous excavation of canals, breathing life into vast stretches of once arid land. These endeavors went beyond mere irrigation. They played a pivotal role in replenishing the soil and providing essential drinking water to 650 residents of the province. Nakamura's impact rippled through the broader infrastructure of the region as he assumed a pivotal role in overseeing the construction of two mosques and two hospitals. These achievements, a testament to the unyielding dedication to the welfare of the Afghan people, underscore Nakamura's pragmatic and hands-on approach in transforming the landscape through the sustainable management of water resources. Nakamura's enduring impact on the agricultural vitality of Afghanistan reached its pinnacle with international recognition, culminating in the prestigious Nobel Prize of Asia for International Peace. His resolute commitment to canal construction and water resource management became an emblem of sustainable development and peace building. The canals meticulously constructed in Nangahar and Kunar provinces not only quenched the land's thirst, but also played an integral role in containing and harnessing the formidable waters of Kunar province. Nakamura's visionary approach surpassed mere short-term relief, aiming to carve out a lasting legacy of prosperity for the Afghan people. As we unravel the intricacies of the canals he masterfully constructed, we delve into the transformative power of water-driven projects, etching an indelible mark on the agricultural landscape and the lives of those reliant upon it. Nakamura's indelible impact on Afghanistan's agricultural vitality reached its zenith with international acclaim, earning him the distinguished Nobel Prize of Asia for International Peace. His steadfast commitment to canal construction and water resource management evolved into an enduring symbol of sustainable development and peace building. The meticulously crafted canals in Nangahar and Kunar provinces not only quenched the land's thirst, but also played a pivotal role in adeptly managing and harnessing the formidable waters of Kunar province. Nakamura's visionary mission transcended the temporal horizon, aspiring to establish a lasting legacy of prosperity for the Afghan people. As we delve deeper into the intricacies of the canals he expertly engineered, we unraveled the transformative power inherent in water-driven projects, leaving an indelible imprint on the agricultural landscape and profoundly impacting the lives of those reliant upon its sustenance. The profound impact of Nakamura's canal projects, eloquently demonstrated by the luxuriant greenery transforming landscapes once desolate, unfurls a tale of resilience and rebirth. Amidst the thriving fields nurtured by Nakamura's life-enriching canals, we witness nature responding to his visionary initiatives. The Gambier Plain, once shackled by aridity, now stands reborn as a vibrant, agriculturally opulent expanse, echoing the victory of life over adversity. With this verdant panorama, we delve into the intricate engineering marvels underpinning this metamorphosis. The canals, born of traditional Japanese wisdom, not only sustain life but also serve as enduring testaments to the harmonious blend of heritage and innovation. So, let's unravel the technical intricacies behind Nakamura's canal network, exploring how these waterways evolved into conduits of prosperity, embodying the quintessence of sustainable change. Delving into the intricate engineering behind Nakamura's canal network unveils a remarkable synthesis of traditional wisdom and cutting-edge technology. Drawn from traditional Japanese methods, these canals are meticulously crafted to optimize water distribution and irrigation. The engineering brilliance lies in the deliberate layout, utilizing the region's topography, precise slope calculations, and soil quality assessments to ensure the seamless flow of water. Guided by gravity-driven principles, the canals minimize the reliance on extensive pumping mechanisms. Additionally, strategically positioned weirs play a crucial role in the judicious management of water resources, preventing excessive flooding and ensuring a sustained bounty for agriculture. Nakamura's method reflects a profound understanding of the local environment, resulting in canals that not only quench the land's thirst, but also endure as monuments to the successful fusion of time-honored practices with cutting-edge engineering solutions, fostering sustenance and prosperity in the heart of Afghanistan. In conclusion, Nakamura's enduring legacy in Afghanistan is engraved in the intricate network of canals that crisscross the landscape, serving as a beacon of resilience and sustainable development. The engineering mastery that breathes life into these waterwaves not only rejuvenated once arid terrains, but also serves as a symbolic bridge between time-honored practices and contemporary innovation. As we contemplate the transformative journey of these canals, witnessing the metamorphosis from barren lands to flourishing agricultural expanses, Nakamura's visionary prowess emerges as a powerful testament to the lasting impact of humanitarian endeavors. These canals, nurtured by a profound understanding of the environment and an unwavering commitment to the Afghan people, persistently deliver sustenance, prosperity, and hope to the very heart of Afghanistan. 
Nakamura's legacy endures in the verdant fields, vibrant communities, and the resilient spirit of those benefiting from the life-sustaining waters flowing through the canals he passionately engineered. As we conclude this journey through Nakamura's impactful canal projects in Afghanistan, it's crucial to acknowledge the somber reality that unfolded in 2019. Tetsu Nakamura, the compassionate force behind these transformative endeavors, tragically lost his life in an attack. Nakamura's legacy endures in the verdant fields, vibrant communities, and the resilient spirit of those benefiting from the life-sustaining waters flowing through the canals he passionately engineered. Did you know about Tetsu Nakamura's impact on Afghanistan before this video? If so, how? Let us know in the comment section below, and if you found this video intriguing and want to delve deeper into the future of construction, be sure to subscribe to the Uber Build.